Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to set up your 3DS so that it can boot custom animations and later I'm gonna show you how to create one of those animations, how to make a custom one uh, using in this case Camtasia Studio but you can use whatever video editor you want. So let's get started. Okay, the main requirement for this tutorial is to have a Nintendo 3DS that is already hacked and that have the Luma Custom firmware. Once you have that, uh, you can uh, go ahead and download the files for this tutorial and create your custom animations. So, for this tutorial you will need a set of uh, software, a set of files that you can find in the description of the video. First we will set up the, the 3DS to load animation in 4 steps that you can read in the description and later we will start from a video and I will show you how to encode it and compress it so that the 3DS can load that custom animation. Let's get started with setting up the 3DS to load animations. After downloading the file, we will start in the Budani 9 folder and we will go ahead and make a backup. First, let's create a folder called Backup and here I will put some files just in case for security. Here on the right I have my Nintendo 3DS SD card, so I will copy the arm 9 loaderhacksbin file as well as a file inside the Luma folder. So, let's create a Luma folder. A Luma folder and this config file copy and paste okay now let's go back and we will copy everything except that backup copy and paste on the Nintendo 3DS SD card. Now what we are replacing is the config file inside the Luma folder so don't worry about it. What, we'll, what we will do now is to move the arm9 loaderhacks.bin we have uh, from the start and we will go ahead and copy it inside of the anim folder. So copy and paste here. Now this arm9 payload.bin you can either delete it or replace it. I will change it the name just because. Uh, I strongly recommend to use your own R9 other hacks and change the name. You can delete that if you want. I will leave it here, leave it there. And this is a uh, default animation I left for you. You can change it later. So this is important. Remember to delete that original arm 9 other hacks that been file. So let's go ahead in the root of our SD card and delete. Alright. Now let's go to test the results on the Nintendo 3DS. Remember, if you turn on your console pushing down the select button, you can enter here the configuration of Luma. I will leave it uh, here so you can see how I have my, my options. And let's reboot. After exiting this menu, the animation won't load, don't panic. 
uh, you need to start from zero so I will turn off the console and start it again and there you have it this beautiful Luma animation Okay, so the next phase is create a custom animation. So, first the software what we need. Um, we need a bunch of things. Most of them you can find it here on these sources. Of course, I will link them in the description. Or you can use the kit I prepared for you. Now. Nonetheless, I'm gonna show you the pages, the, com the compressor, the mechanism. This is the, the main tool we will use. Here's the compressor. For this one, you need to compile yourself the X, uh, .x application, but I already did it. Uh, so if you start from scratch, you will need to install uh, the, the tools needed to compile these these files. Let's start by checking the Nintendo 3DS uh, screen's resolution. I did that by taking two screenshots. Let's see them here. Remember, you can take screenshots for each individual screen and later see the size in the computer. But uh, let's keep that and. These are the resolutions for uh, a new Nintendo 3DS XL and as well as for the old Nintendo 3DS XL. It is important you know these dimensions because that's the size in which we will work so that our animation runs as smoothly as possible. So, so these are two videos of animations inspired on Evangelion. I will leave it for you to download. And this one is from the clock. Well, that that's what it is. And we will start uh, our animation from from a video, also inspired on the connections of the Eva when it's activated. So here I'm starting a new project in Camtasia. I will not go in depth of why I'm, what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm confident you can make uh, this video edition. And if not, uh, feel free to look for a tutorial. But basically what I'm doing here is to adjust the video to the screen resolution in the 3DS. So 400 doesn't work, let's try 240 and okay now I will go ahead and look for the particular scene I want in the animation keep in mind that if you make long uh, animations the 3ds will uh, will take more time to boot so keep it to two maybe three seconds one second will be better so let's see first I will adjust the video again as it's not rendering well I will I have to to set the the frame size but also the video size so let's see
it seems good after you finish uh, your edition uh, you just need to produce the video in, here in Camtasia I will show you how to, to produce an mp4 file and after that we will be ready to encode it with the tools I left you in the description and finally make our 3d8 animation files the process here is very straightforward Pro just click produce and share but remember I'm creating a, an animation for the top screen and the resolution for both the screens is different so keep that in mind I will create a folder to produce just to keep things organized and we go back change the output folder and click finish after that we just wait for the process to end and we will have our video and this is the result let's see it runs well so okay we are ready to use this video to go ahead and encode it for the 3ds so the encoding tools look like this we will copy our video inside this folder and we will drag and drop it in the bat file After this we will just follow the instructions on the screen, we will select the frame rate, A for top screen, is this an animation, yes, and we wait for this process to end. It is rather quick and it will ask if we want to compress the, the animation, I will say yes but sadly in this case the compression was not good enough uh, other times it's good it, it depends on the frame rate and on the video you can start playing with that finally we we have these two files the anim file and the config file we will grab these files and put it inside a folder number from zero to 